Hey guys, hope you're having a great Monday and I'm sharing with you now what's going to be the best pressure washing resource that there is available online. You're watching it happen right now and you're in this group so I appreciate you for being in this group and I apologize to anyone who's sort of an expert or been doing this for a long time. I'm just going to cover the basics but as we all know Doing the basics day in and day out is one of the hardest things to do. Um, it's keeping them fundamentals going. So what I'm going to go through is basically how a pressure washer works and then the maintenance that in, is involved in keeping your machine working. So I've got a quick video here showing you how a pressure washer actually works, the pre pressure washer pump. So basically, you've got uh, this this part here that's spinning. Uh, this is the part that's the shaft on the pump, and this is attached to the gearbox and the Honda engine or whatever engine that you've got. Uh, some people have like a Lonkin engine uh, attached to a gearbox, and then it's attached to this shaft, which rotates and it pulls these plungers back and forward. Uh, on the Honda machines that we have. They are, they are like ceramic uh, coated, so they're like a really good quality uh, piston. So the importance of servicing these machines is that you're keeping all of these gears and bearings in good condition and you're prolonging the life of it. So what's happening here is the ceramic plunger is pushing in and out of the pump head. So this pump head here, has water coming in and water coming out at high pressure. And at the very top and at the very bottom, you have two check valves. So when the plunger is in the retracted position, the check valve opens and it allows water to be sucked into the chamber. While that is happening, it pulls this check valve to the down position this is the high pressure side so when it's sucking it closes the high pressure side and opens the check valve at the bottom on the on the water inside and then when the plunger is pushed forward it closes the water inlet side and it pressurizes the, this this area here lifts the check valve and then high pressure water is then pushed into the high pressure side of the pump. So as you can see, the check valves are just rotating backwards and forward. Check valve at the bottom, check valve at the top. That's the shaft spinning, pistons going in and out, high pressure water. So that was basically just a quick video on like how to how the system, the high pressure system actually works. And here is the maintenance that you've got to do on these machines, basically. So on the engine side, this is the Honda um, engine or the Lonkin engine, if that's the machine that you use. Um, so for a Honda machine, you want to service that Honda machine after the first 20 hours, then every 100 hours thereafter. Then what you have is you have a gearbox and pump oil change. They're two different oils that is, are needed. The same is a different oil for the engine as well. So it's a, a different oil for the engine, which is a different set of service parts. So the engine has engine oil, which is, I think it's a, a 1030, 10W30 oil. You're going to change the spark plug and the air filter. Then on the gearbox and the high pressure pump, you basically will service that. Um, you'll change the oil after the first 50 hours. Then every 500 hours after that, which is typically one year. So whichever one comes first and you'll have two different oils for that. Then 
you'll do a, a system check on the actual pump itself. And what that's going to be doing is it's going to be checking those valve seals. So you're going to do that once per year. So if we go back to this video, sorry about this uh, lady here. So but there's going to be these um, pistons here. You're going to be changing the seals on here. And then you're also going to be changing the, or, or checking at least, the seals on these check valves that are in the top and the bottom of the head of the pump. Uh, later on, I probably will do a video on this and it will be on the Hero Softwash website under the troubleshooting page. So you'll be able to buy the spares, but you'll, you'll be able to see exactly how to do the service and then the tools that are required to do it. Uh, if we're all professional pressure washing business owners, we can outsource this, but we should be able to do this type of thing ourselves. It's something that I believe is a value add for your business because if your business is able to look after the equipment that it uses and then you're able to fault find and carry spares of the equipment of the equipment that you need every single day, it will just eliminate the downtime that you've got because we all know the reason for servicing our machines regularly is so that we don't lose a day of washing. All right, we don't always have to work every single day, but the days that we are working, we do not want to have to reschedule it. Uh, well, that's my ethos anyway. So I wanted to share that video of how that, that high pressure pump works, uh, the importance of the maintenance and sort of the maintenance schedule for your pressure washing machine. Hope that was useful. Um, if you found it useful, maybe share it or at least maybe invite some people into the group. Um, I do really like those other Facebook groups, but I want to keep this one positive. So if you do invite people, no haters, no people that are like negative, uh, think like, if they think, you know, like an idiot, don't invite them. Have a great day.